Hey there, Gemini. Uh, this is your psychic read for September of 2020. Welcome to Prophecy. My name is Piper. Thank you for watching. And if you're new, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> so, uh, I'm also going to extend this reading, so if you like what you see here and you want to know more, if you scroll down to the description box below and click on the link, that will take you to Vimeo where you can purchase more information and you'll get Oracle cards with this read as well. So, um, also you guys don't forget to check out the new website, www.welcometoprophecy.com, where you can get all the information you need to place in order for a personal reading, prices, contact information, information about me, etc. Okay. So, um, for this reading, I am going to channel a message for you from spirit. And then we're going to draw some cards from my Osho Zen Tarot deck to figure out what your situation is and what the energies of the month are. Okay. So Gemini, They are waiting for you to decide to go for it, to take a chance, Gemini. You are standing on the precipice of something, something larger than you're used to or out of your comfort zone. It takes two to tango and you must put a foot forward if you want to play the game, if you want to be included, and if you want to take part. Gemini soldiers on. And these days are tougher. It's happening all at once, and it's hard to part ways with the way you've been or the way you've done things. Your pathway has always been dedicated to hard work and furthering your position. And it's not easy being you, Gemini. But part of you wants to go for it. Part of you wants to be in the now, um, involved maybe with someone else or in groups of people. It would be beneficial to you to be part of something that encouraged you and supported you. Some of you Geminis have been on your pathway so long you've forgotten what it was like to be happy in a relationship or supported by people who would believe in you. This time is different. This time is necessary. You must allow this part of you to surface, Gemini. You will be happier in this. You will be more fulfilled. You will be encouraged and empowered. It gives you the energy you need to go forward. Take the first step, Gemini. It's not as scary as you think. Okay, you guys. So, um, somebody is... <laughs> 
somebody expects you to make a move, I think it's the universe, Gemini. So I feel like they're waiting for you guys to um, decide to take a first step. There's something that you're needing to do, something that feels a little risky to you or takes you out of your comfort zone. And you're not quite... I feel like you want to think first, act later. And... Um, this time only, Gemini, the universe is giving you the chance to not think first. They're telling you it's okay right now to do whatever this is. Um, Gemini for September, please. Mm. The five of rainbows, Gemini, the outsider. Yeah. So you like your life the way it is. You like the simple things, Gemini. You like taking your time and experiencing nature. You like walks and you're taking some walks in the woods Foraging, again, enjoying life's little simple things. Um, perhaps someplace where you don't have to wear a mask, Gemini. <laughs> Fresh air, deep breaths. Um, but you're doing so because you need to be rebirthed because things in your past may have stained you and I definitely see the word stained or you feel tainted but it is time to come out of that and you are trying to resurrect yourself and leave betrayal in the past and leave the feeling of being let down or having the rug pulled out from underneath you that's all going away um But I do feel like, unfortunately, now you kind of always assume the worst in things, Gemini. Time to leave that behind, right? September teaches you that it's no longer necessary to remain below deck. You can rise above it. You can let that go. And be open to receiving again receptivity Gemini so you're really needing to open up you're really needing to believe in yourself and other things other people other situations uh, the receptivity card is about relaxing and letting things come to you that you deserve you know and and it means that you don't resist sometimes when you get the receptivity card it's a, the, this is the queen by the way the queen of cups um, you need to be more sensitive, be more compassionate, be more open. When somebody wants to give you something, accept, Gemini. I feel like in September, the universe is telling you to allow life to happen. So we have the outsider. This is the five of rainbows, a situation that may have been cold or maybe you feel left out or maybe someone around you feels left out of a situation because you've got something new going on. You've got a new vision. You've got a new goal. You've got a new way of life in September. And this is about figuring out how to map out the numbers correctly how to you know how do i follow this guidance how do i move within these new uh within these new phases and sets of guidelines i feel like the car outsider card is more of a perception like You've gotten so used to standing on the outside of something, Gemini, that you tend to stay there too long or you're unable to traverse that energy. But 
but I feel like it's really more about just figuring out how to exist within those guidelines, how to exist within, this could very possibly be you trying to figure out how to, how to exist in a world post COVID. Not that COVID's over, but maybe in your world, it's time to figure that out now. It's time to figure out how to you rewire yourself, how to all different kinds of things, Gemini. How do I have a relationship? How do I have friends? In what context do we exist? Uh, you know, how do we how do we develop relationships in this type of social scenery, so to speak? Um, And I feel like this card is about you and you're feeling the barriers between you and a new lifestyle. There's something that's in the way. There's something that's in the way. So be try to be open to receiving, Gemini. We're going to get a lot of advice uh, in the extended reading for you to see what this is all about. Because clearly there is something between you and a new life here. So you've got a block, Gemini. So um, please join me for the extended read. We'll figure out what that is. We'll get some advice. We'll figure out what's going on in your love life, work, money, and we'll um, grab a card from Spirit that gives you the what you need to make it through the month, okay? Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you there. Bye.